Welcome to the podcast that's been named one of the best in marketing research. This is Research Business Daily Report, and it's made possible by RBDR's exclusive community at the crowdfunding platform, patreon.com forward slash RBDR. I'm Bob Letter for more than 25 years, the respected voice in market research. Digital marketing and accompanying analytics and the technologies that support them have transformed actionable information, knowledge, and insight available to companies in every business category imaginable. Few categories, however, are as distinguishable from the rest as is the standout known as quick service restaurants. QSR marketers have predominantly hinged their bets on measuring sales to gauge campaign success. That's the claim from Antonio Tomarchio, founder and CEO of Cubic, as he wrote on QSRweb.com. But other marketing activity can be tracked through breakthrough research capabilities, he wrote. Tomarchio declares that campaign research is capable of revealing for QSRs which part of their advertising is successfully generating incremental visits to stores. The same holds true, he says, for which campaign elements are most effective in achieving goals of any advertising campaign. And if you add location-based data to a QSR, and many companies are doing that, the keys to more efficient media spending unfolds. Now, there are consumers who represent regular foot traffic, to a QSR store or multiple locations. But then there are consumers who visit their local fast food joint because of and during a campaign. And those people need increased focus. Tomarchio maintains the incremental effect of QSR advertising is calculable and can be assessed. AI-powered algorithms can measure advertising impact more effectively, he maintains, Plus, they can deliver more detailed campaign analytics. Tomarchio stated that algorithms can identify customers aggregated in groups who are most likely to make an incremental QSR visits, and he calls that fact a game changer. Location data is a notably unique feature for QSRs as well. Tomarchio highlighted the ability and importance of putting store location data in the hands of consumers so they can more easily find a location they want to visit. And simultaneously, assisting QSO marketers with heretofore unavailable location intelligence. In a study from 451 Research, 84% of QSO marketers said they want to use location data to help predict customer behavior. Similar 80% plus percentages covet location data to better understand campaign consumer effects. And there is also a very high percentage above 80% that believe that such data could optimize media spend in real time. That is your Research Business Daily Report made possible by the exclusive community that we have at the crowdfunding platform patreon.com forward slash rbdr. Thousands of research executives have become RBDR viewers, and logic tells us that the average five-minute video length of one of our videos is perceived as time well spent. How is that? Well, we have so many out there in the research executive ranks who just regularly watch our videos, and we know who they are and how often they do it. We've also noted an interesting and continuing habit of these viewers. They like to share our videos. Some of them do it internally, some do it externally. Regardless of which uh, is the group that you're sending it to, this is one of the most unique and valuable reach outs that can be made to your peers. And it can also be of great benefit to your clients or prospective clients. Whether it's one or all three of those groupings, they will thank you when you think of them by sharing a video. So please visit patreon.com forward slash RBDR and become a patron. In the meantime, have a great research day and we'll see you back here with us tomorrow.